Hello, Kenny Jane here. So another thing that you can use during your gut cleanse or if you just want to clean up your diet and you're wanting to remove some processed foods, such as cereals, there is no such thing as a healthy cereal. They're all processed and offer very little, if no, nutritional value at all. But you can make your own. This is really versatile because this is not only a cereal, a replacement that you can use it instead of cereal for breakfast. You can use it to snack on during the day. It's so delicious, just eat handfuls of it. Um, or you can use it as a bit of a sweet treat um, after dinner as like a dessert. Um, you can put it with some, with some yogurt or coconut yogurt or fresh cream. You can add milk to it to make it more like a cereal. You can eat it on its own. You can just have it as a snack. You can put it with some fresh fruit. It's really versatile. And it's super easy to make and cheap. So you can buy, what you start with your base basically is some coconut flakes or coconut chips they might be called. Um, so you start with those little measurements. So I mean this is really, you can use what, however much you want really. Um, so I'd say I've probably used about maybe six cups of coconut flakes. Um, so it, it's this is really not technical. You can just add as much as you want. But yeah, maybe a few cups of coconut flakes. And then I like to add in some um, lovely dried fruit, which when it goes into the oven, uh, caramelizes and makes it really delicious. Particularly I use dates and figs, dried dates and dried figs. I've also added some, um, what are these called again? Mulberries. So little tiny mulberries, if you can see those. You could use all kind, any kind of berries in here, really, or dried fruits. You can also add some nuts and seeds, but I'd usually add those after you've um, oven roasted these and toasted it. Um, I'm trying to think, what are those little tiny berries called? Ooh, had a brain collapse. Um, the little red ones. Anyway, check you use whatever you want, and the actual combination of how much ratio you want of dried fruit to coconuts is up to you as well. So all you do is put those, I put it into a bowl, uh, cut up the, the dates and the figs into sort of more bite-sized pieces, um, and then I pop them into any kind of oven tray. It doesn't have to be like a casserole dishy thing. It can just be a plain oven tray. Um, don't add anything to it, just tip it in and spread it out. Now, you want your oven preheated to about 160 degrees Celsius and keep an eye on it because the coconut chips will toast really quickly and go brown, which isn't an issue. You just don't want them to over toast and, and be burnt. Um, so as you're cooking it, maybe every five minutes or so, um, get in and give it a good stir, like use a, you know, a spatula or whatever you would normally use, um, to just give it a stir and move the coconut chips that are underneath to the top of the tray so that they all get toasted quite evenly. Um, it would be my suggestion. So I'm going to pop that in now and then I will show you how it comes out and how delicious it is.